Hi, I'm Liz, and welcome back to Elizabeth Ann Can Stitch for Floss Tube episode 27. Yay! Yay! everybody had a good week. I had a very busy work week and I think that led to me going all over the place <laughs> in terms of crafts because I I didn't start any new cross stitch projects <laughs> but I did start three other craft projects. I think um me you know trying to do samplerary <laughs> and limit myself I mean, it's not a rule. I'm not going to start anything because I actually will show you a new start that I'm going to um, work on today. But I don't know. Now my brain is just like going in the other direction. <laughs> and I have knitting starts and quilting and a lot of plans for other quilts. <laughs> and I have so much haul and so many things on the way. Um, starting 2021 off with... Uh, spending spree and a project spree I'm afraid that's okay <laughs> this year has been stressful so far and uh, I'm just gonna <laughs> stitch what I like make what I like if I want to buy some yarn online <laughs> you know it's all good um so let me show you what I worked on this week I have no finishes didn't finish anything, didn't FFO anything. Um, I do have a frame on the way for little Mr. Andrew's um, animal alphabet name. So I'm hoping I might have that for next week to show you because I need to get it. Oh yeah, actually, I need to get it framed, I think by next Saturday or next Sunday so I can show it in the video and then go bring it to him for his birthday. <laughs> so it's in the mail. So hopefully it'll be here early next week and then I'll have that to show you, but yeah, no FFOs, no finishes this week. Just lots of progress on things. Um, so let's get into it. Okay, so after finishing uh, Blackberry Rabbit, nope, not Blackberry Rabbit, Blackberry House, <laughs> um, my Blackberry House piece last week, uh, the next kind of on my goal list was to finish the sampler from the Sewing Club book, and it's called Tiny Treetops, Rose and Time. And I pulled that out. I only... I mean, you're gonna hear this a lot. I only worked on it one day because I was all over the place this week. Um, but I feel like I made some pretty good progress. I think I'm at the halfway point now. I am stitching this on a 36 count picture this plus doubloon, the called for, with um, all of the called for Weeks Dye Works flosses. And I really love the colors of this. I think it's so pretty. Um, I feel like in the camera, the Picture This Plus fabrics always look way more modeled than they do in person. I mean, it's definitely a modeled, you know, over dyed fabric, but it's not quite this crazy um, when, when you look at it in person. But that's okay. Uh, yeah, so. That's where I am. Uh, the M, the letter M in that fruit basket or the halfway point. So yeah, I think it's this is totally doable to get done by the end of February. So I'm going to keep that one um, in the rotation. <laughs> As they say, even though I have no rotation, I just flit around. Uh, but I'm going to keep this one on the go until I get it done. Okay, another project that only got a day was my Barbara Anna Designs. Christmas joy. So cute. Um, I don't know that I'm going to get this one finished till probably next Christmas, but I wanted to put a little bit more, a few more stitches into it and have it to show off to you guys because I know a lot of people have started stitching this one after um, seeing it in my video a few weeks ago. So um, I pulled this one out to work on for a day. And here it is. I am stitching this on 36 count agave linen by Zweigert, just one of their um, colors. It's not a hand dye. 
and that is a pretty accurate representation of the color right there. It's a pretty medium, uh, medium green, cactusy kind of green. And I just got um, that little red reindeer and some more of the letters filled in. And I just love it. I love all the white and black with pops of red. Um, it's really fun to stitch. So that's Christmas Joy by Barbara Anna. Okay, next thing I worked on this week was The Visitor by Blackberry Rabbit. That's why I had Blackberry Rabbit in my house, or, or <laughs> in my head earlier when I was trying to say Blackberry House. <laughs> I'm just going to confuse all my words. <laughs> so there's the visitor, and this is one that I'd really like to get uh, framed by spring. So I've been, uh, I'm just going to sneak this one in every week until I get it done. And here is my progress. I um, really got the bird defined and started filling in some of the bird and then got working on um, the leaf underneath the bird's feet. And then there's one more leaf to the left of the breast of the bird. Um, and then I'll be done. So there's still a good amount of stitching left because this is really full coverage, but I'm really close, I feel like, you know, maybe like four days, three or four solid stitching days, and I think I can get this one done. So, oh, I'm stitching this one, forgot to tell you guys. Um, this is a 40 count Seraphim Fabrics Dusty Road, which is just lovely. I really like this fabric. And this is, yeah, this is a very accurate color representation here. It's pretty pale. Um, subtle modeling. It's just beautiful. And I'm using all of the called for colors, which are a mix of Fancy Floss and DMC to achieve the kind of um, shading and stuff that's called for in the pattern. And that's the visitor. Okay, next one is the one I spent the most time on this week, and I feel like I made a lot of progress, even though I don't know how much <laughs> it looks like it because well, I'll show you. Um, so I worked on Winter Rose Manor by Brenda Gervais. Pretty much every day since about Tuesday or Wednesday. So this one got some love um, this week. And I love it. Love it. Here she is. <laughs> I... Um, worked on building that top floor of the pink house, where mine's not entirely pink, but that's okay. I like the color. And I put in the cardinals. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you might've seen me talking about that little female uh, greeny gray cardinal, because there are supposed to be two colors similar to the red one, but my sage and putty are identical. <laughs> so I don't know that I see two colors in that bird. But I'm, I'm not going to pull it out. I think I am just going to backstitch around the wing. Um, and if I don't like that, then I'll just leave it alone. Um, I think it'll be fine. Uh, I also did the little medallion over here. Um, the little tree. So I did change the tree. It called for the house color for the little berries, which I didn't like. And it called for Algerian eyelets, which I didn't like. <laughs> So I ended up using Wood Rose and the Smyrna Cross, and I love my little tree now. So uh, I also started putting in my initials, which <laughs> I was talking to Celeste about this last night. Um, Brenda and Gervais, I see you. <laughs> well, I'm assuming. Uh, so if you notice on the pattern, if you have this, first initial, middle initial, last initial, and... Brenda's, <laughs> Brenda's initials. I'm just making up that her middle name is Anne, by the way. I don't know her, but I'm assuming it's Brenda Ann Gervais. Uh, so her initials are B-A-G for bag. <laughs> and I like how she split them up. So it doesn't just say bag on the sampler. And so on my sampler, I have the E-A and then the T will be below. So it doesn't just say eat <laughs> in the middle of my beautiful house. 
I mean, I know I don't have to stitch my initials if I don't want to, but I do want them on there. I like the uh, alphabet and how it's charted. And I just really appreciate that they're split up. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> I just thought that was funny. I don't know if any of you have been watching since... What video was that in? It was a while back. Maybe it was my first whip parade where I was talking about my problem with stitching my initials on things because it just says eat or ET. Um whatever. <laughs> They're my initials. <laughs> okay, so those were the cross stitch whips this week. I also started a number of new projects. <laughs> so let's start with knitting. Um, I started two knitting projects. Like, who do I think I am? Shiloh <laughs> from X to Jim D, the knitting, the knitting queen. Um, that's okay. I told y'all last week that I was going to use um, this skein of red Malabrigo to, um, start a hat. And I did. <laughs> I didn't work on it that much though. Um, but I do have the brim of the hat and I've started working on the body of the hat. So eventually <laughs> this will be a little cozy hat. Um, I am using, I think it's a free pattern. I found it on Ravelry. I'll link it. It's called the CC Style Boulder Beanie. Um, and uh, it's really cute. It's kind of got horizontal um, texture stripes um, throughout the uh, top of the hat. And then I plan on adding a big pom-pom to the top. So yeah, I'll link um, the knitting pattern below. And I'm using Malabrigo Worsted Weight Ravelry Red. Okay, and then I started one other project because I ordered some yarn last week and it came in the mail yesterday. So I was like, let me start my knit shawl I want to make. <laughs> Here's the yarn I'm using. Um, this is my favorite yarn, Madeline Tosh. It's um, a hand-dyed yarn that's made here in Texas. It's in Dallas. And Oh, these colors are so pretty. Um, I can't remember the names off the top of my head. I know this red is called Tart. And maybe Snake. And, oh, I don't remember. But anyways, these are Madeline Tosh Sport Yarn Weight. Um, and I am making a shawl called Drock, Drockenfels. Drockenfels. Um, I'll put the uh, picture up on the screen so you can see what I'm making. It takes three colors and it mixes with stripes the colors throughout the shawl and it's so pretty. So um, those are the colors I picked out and here is my <laughs> tiny little start from last night while watching um, the Bills game. Um, Bills in Baltimore, which was not a very fun game. <laughs> um, I'm hoping for a little more excitement out of the Breeze Brady extravaganza this afternoon, which um, should be fun. Uh, so anyway, so here is my start. You start down in the corner and start increasing and decreasing to kind of start creating your triangle. It's just kind of a big, long triangle shawl. And so this is my first color. And then I'll start striping in some of the blue and then some of this, and then it'll end with a big chunk of color of the dark blue. So yeah, that's my little start <laughs> on a shawl. I have no idea when I'll actually finish these. I'm, I don't know. I started them and then was like, but wait, I want a cross stitch. <laughs> no more yarn purchases for me. If I start talking about buying yarn, y'all tell me, nope. <laughs> Okay, so do you want to see a new quilting project I started? Because it's real cute. <laughs> um, I was totally inspired by Kimberly Jolly at the Fat Quarter Shop. I watched her quilting. Mm, it's on the quilting channel. It's like, I think it was like her 2020 wrap up where she walked through all of her completed quilts that she made in 2020, which, wow. <laughs> She made a lot of quilts and they were all beautiful. I think I made like four quilts last year. Um, I don't know. Anyways, I was totally inspired by her Moda Blockheads 3 quilt. And Moda Blockheads was a free, or is, it still exists. You can go find the patterns. I'll link them down below. Um, 
but it's a free block of the month. Although I think they were released week, so block of the week patterns. And they could be made in like 12 inch, six inch, some of them four inch or eight inch. So you could make different blocks of different sizes and kind of pick a layout. Um, so I was really inspired by all the different blocks, kind of a sampler quilt um, type of look and the red, white, and blue fabrics that Kimberly used on hers. And so I don't want to make just like all of the Moda Blockheads blocks, but I did have some favorites from there. So I'm just pulling from all over the place some 12 inch and six inch blocks that I love. And I bought a stack of fabric <laughs> and I've made a couple blocks already. And yeah, let me, <laughs> let me just show it to you. Okay, let's see if I can do this without knocking everything over. So this is my big Rubbermaid tub. I'm gonna keep this project in. So I bought two fat quarter sets from Handmade is Heartmade on Etsy. And I bought a, fig, a Patriotic Colors of Fig Tree Quilts bundle and a Patriotic Colors of Bonnie and Camille, um, I think from the Shine On line. And so I just wanted a mix of navy, sky blue, and red and white. And um, then I'm gonna just make all my blocks. <laughs> So here are the fat quarters um, that I ended up with. I did remove a few that I felt like um, I wouldn't use. So I think I ended up here with 30 fat quarters out of, I think I bought 40, but um, I think I'll have plenty of fabric with this bundle. And then you can see my um, white, I think it's Paintbrush Studios uh, rice paper solid, um, which is very similar to Kona Snow because my uh, quilt shop didn't have Kona Snow, but they did have this color and it's like spot on. So that's kind of the plan is just all the blocks are gonna be made out of these fabrics with that white background um, as needed. And I'll figure out a layout later. <laughs> I really like Kimberly's layout. I think she said it came out of the Farm Girl Vintage 2 book by Lori Holt. So I might get my hands on that book um, and use the same layout or I don't know. I mean, these, it's going to take me a while to make these blocks. I'll show you. I've made two so far and they take like an hour or so each. And these are not the super complicated ones. <laughs> um, so they take a while to make. Uh, but yeah, I don't know what the point of that was. I mean, I guess, <laughs> I guess that it's, this quilt is not going to be one that's going to be done soon. I'm hoping I can make a few blocks a week. Um, and then eventually, I don't know, maybe six months from now, I'll have enough. <laughs> to lay out a quilt and then I'll figure out the quilt layout at that point. So let me show you the blocks I've made. Okay, this is the first one I made. And oh, I'm just realizing I don't remember the name of the block, so I'll put it on the screen. But this is one of the uh, Moda Blockhead 3 blocks. I think it's something about windmills. But anyways, I love this. So that was my first one. And then here is my second one. So cute. I love these little Rosa houses. So yeah, so that is the new quilt that I started and I'm very excited about it. I think it's gonna be so cool when it's done. I've never really, I've never done a quilt like this where every block is different. Um, I was sending pictures to my um, sisters and mom and my sister was like, oh my gosh, is this like a sampler quilt? And I'm like, yes, it's like me stitching a sampler, but <laughs> in quilt form and I love it. And I know people do things like this all the time. Um, and I've been quilting for like, what is it? 17, 16 years at this point. So you'd think, you'd think I'd have done something like this, but I don't, I usually do one block patterns or um, or not even blocks usually. I'm, I'm more of like an all over, I don't know. You saw my quilt parade, you know, <laughs> you know what kind of, uh, quilts I make, but, <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just very excited about this and I can't wait to figure out a layout and if I'm going to do borders and I don't know, just very excited. So I'm hoping I'll have a little bit of progress each week or hopefully each week, depending on the time but um yeah so I'm hoping to keep updating you guys on my little Americana quilt 
Okay, so let's talk plans for a second and then I'll get into some kind of haul and happy mail that I got this week, which is really fun. Um, I have two things that I know I'm going to stitch on next week, so I thought I would just show you um, where they're at. Uh, the first one is, well, here are the two cute bags. <laughs> um, the first one is my Brenda Gervais wordplay. So, uh, December is still fully up on my tin and I really want to get February stitched up. So this one is going to get started today as soon as I edit and upload and am able to relax with some football. Yes, February wordplay. I was going to stitch all of these on 36 count sand, but I've decided that doesn't really matter because um, they're all displayed individually. I, but I am going to stick to 36 count picture this plus just so they're all the same size. Um, so I have a piece of, uh, fawn by picture this plus and which is just a little bit browner than the sand. And then I picked colors out of my stash. A couple are the called for, um, most are not. I just kind of pulled what I had. The dominant colors are really the kind of browns and golds not the bright gold but like the heirloom gold um but there's just pops of red and blue and green in there so yeah i'm excited about that i i don't know if it's going to be done this week let's see what is today's the 17th so i guess i have two weeks i don't have to get it done this week i just need to get it started and moving so i can get it finished by the end of january and then the next one that i know i want to work on next week is Oh Joyous Day by Blackbird Designs. Just my absolute favorite sampler whip. It's so pretty. And here, just as a reminder, I haven't worked on this in quite a while, but um, here is the progress I have on Oh Joyous Day. So I finished that whole top flower band and I had just gotten a small start. Sorry, I didn't iron this, but I had just gotten a small start on um, that bottom, or the middle section, sorry. So, so fun. So pretty, so fun, I love this one. I am stitching this on the 36 count Picture This Plus Legacy and all of the called for colors. The only changes I've made is instead of satin stitching these little triangle bands, I just cross stitched them. I started satin stitching and I just, I didn't like how my satin stitches were looking. And instead of just fiddling around with it, I was like, nope, <laughs> I can cross stitch triangles. <laughs> so that's the only change I've made so far. Uh, I probably will make some sort of change on the top up here um I don't know we'll see because it does have oh joyous day with a date and two sets of initials I don't know um I do love the house though I wonder if I could do it as like a new house sampler like for this house I know I've been in the house almost two years can I still make a new house sampler <laughs> my initials my house's initials <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna have to think about what I'm gonna do on top of that house, but I'm gonna stitch on this. <laughs> okay, let's talk happy mail because I got some fun stuff. <laughs> uh, why do I make faces so much? I just, it's like I feel like my words can't convey my excitement, so my face needs to convey it. Um, somebody left me a comment, what, comment once about my like, Oh, what did she call it? Not rubber, but you know, like very expressive face. Mm -hmm. I uh, have no poker face. Uh, if I'm upset, somebody will know because I can't hide it. I wish I could. It's very, um, what do I call it? It's very annoying. <laughs> but I can't just be like, oh yeah, I'm fine. And instead my face is like, mm -hmm, I'm fine. Uh, yeah, so I make faces and I talk with my hands. <laughs> I, I don't even know why I'm doing this. I got a comment last week um, <laughs> from somebody who told me, you laugh too much, I won't be watching. Good luck with your channel. 
was like, definitely don't watch if uh, you're not a fan of me laughing because that's all I do is laugh at myself. So <laughs> it's like, all right, thank you. Bye. <laughs> What's that um, Ariana Grande song? Thank you. Next. <laughs> Sorry, I laugh. Sorry, I have joy in my heart. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Back to one. So my friend on Instagram, Danica, um, I'll link her uh, down below. She is stitching this beautiful hands across the sea sampler. Uh, I think it's a little gem. I can't remember now, but it's a beautiful pattern. And she was talking about working with the Avera Soie 103 silks. And I was like, Ooh, I've been wanting to try those. Um, you know, the colors are beautiful. And she was telling me, she's like, Oh, I have an extra uh, spool of a color I'm not using. Do you want to try it out? I'll send it to you. And I was like, Oh my God. Yes. Uh, so she sent me in the mail, um, a little spool of a Avera Soie 103 such a pretty cranberry color um let's see what is the color number 524 number 524 uh yeah it's so pretty so I don't know what I'm gonna stitch with it um but I did want to just try it so oh actually hold on so I found uh I was just googling um one night probably the night this came in because I have no self-control I just start things and try things the second they come into my house. Um, I found a, I was Googling for free, free Valentine's cross stitch. And I found Mill on the Floss Samplers Facebook page. And she had offered up, I'll just show it on the screen really quick. I didn't have any white paper to print on, so excuse my pink. But this cute little Valentine's Quaker um, I don't know that I'm going to stitch this right now. I, I'm not considering what I'm about to show you a whip, but I just really wanted to try stitching um, with this 103. So I grabbed a piece, like a little scrap piece of uh, 40 count beach brew and just put a few stitches in to just see how it stitches. And it's so lovely. Oh my gosh. It's so smooth. Um, pulling the thread off the spool is really nice really really nice um I really want to try a project in these I do think 40 count is about the smallest I'd go with it because it is a pretty thin silk thread um I do have a skein of the Avera Soie Soie d'Alger which is I think they're slightly thicker silk that you can stitch on like 32 36 so um I'm going to try it. I haven't tried it out, but I have so many silks that I buy to try out and then I can't figure out a project for them, but I'm going to figure out a project. Um, also in my Googling, I found a free Blackbird Designs red sampler that I think is from like 2009. Um, I'll link it where I found it. And it's just a little red schoolgirl, schoolgirl like marking sampler type thing. And I do think I want to stitch that at some point, maybe in this cranberry or maybe in that schoolhouse red uh, Gloriana that I got. Um, we'll see. I don't know. I'm really in the mood for like a one color project. Uh, the number of times I have almost downloaded the Modern Folk Embroidery 2021 Sal is crazy. But no, it's huge. I can't do that. <laughs> no one let me download that. It's so beautiful. And the two color option is stunning, but like the amount of stitching that adds to your project, whew, like God bless everybody who is doing that because it's beautiful, but that thing is so big. Um, but I've been really into the, uh, the Quaker style, the one color style stuff ever since I keep, st ever since I started collecting these little one-off skeins of silk. And that's a good segue into haul because I, I have bought some charts to support that habit. Um, <laughs> so let me show them to you. I'm Carly. Carly, you have your helmet on. You tell everybody. I, I was riding my bike. Yeah? You learning how to ride a bike? Yeah. Are you with tra you have training wheels on it or is it just uh, the tires? Um, there's... There's four wheels. There's four wheels. Cool. Andy, do you want to come say hi? You want to say hi to the camera up there? Hi. Hi. <laughs> Cute.
Can you tell them everybody your name? I'm Charlie. I'm Andy. <gasps> cool. How old are you, Andy? I'm I'm five. Five. And I'm six. <laughs> Incorrect. <laughs> and, How old is he? Andy's two. Is it almost his birthday? Yep. And he's gonna turn three. You're gonna be three. Hey, Andy, do you want to see a birthday present I got you? Do you want to grab it out? Well, so you remember how I made you a cross stitch yeah. that you have framed in your room? Yeah. So Andy, this is gonna, this says your name. Look, there's different animals and it has A is for alligator and N is for a nine ringed armadillo. I know that's a weird one. Um, a D is for deer. An R is for raccoon. The E is for elephant. And the W, do you know what the W is? No, why no? A weasel! <laughs> Are you a little weasel? Yeah. <laughs> do you like it? It says your name. Isn't that cool? Yeah. I'll make also a, get you a toy though, don't worry. Make a little box car. Thank you. Thank you. Can you make a box car? Um, I don't have any boxes to make a box car with today. Okay, I just had a very fun interruption. <laughs> My sister and her kids stopped by. They were out um, riding bikes, learning to ride bikes on the sidewalk. And so my nephews and their little helmets <laughs> stopped by. They're so freaking cute. Um, and I showed Andy uh, his little birthday piece, which he doesn't care about. <laughs> but I do. <laughs> okay, back to the program. Where was I? I think I was talking about haul and one color samplers. Yes. Ooh, but first, okay. I forgot to talk about this at the start of the video, so I'll just talk about it now. Um, earlier this week, I posted a tutorial for my fabric covered notebooks. And um, thank you all so much for the love on that video. Uh, it was really nice. And um, Somebody's already finished one. Somebody made one and sent me pictures and I love it. So uh, let me show it to you. Okay, so Eladia, I'm saying it like I'm speaking Spanish. I don't know if that's how you pronounce things in Italian. Eladia from Italy um, used a sewing club cross stitch piece she had finished and mounted it, like quilted it and made it into a notebook cover using my tutorial. And it looks so good. So I'm gonna put pictures up on the screen. She emailed these to me yesterday and I was like, oh my God. <laughs> so cool and I was like can I share them uh she is on uh Instagram as filial dal tempo I think so um I'll put it up on the screen and then I'll link her below she has a really cute Instagram page full of all kinds of cool cross stitching stuff so um yes oh my gosh thank you for sending me pictures I love it so much if any of you have um used that tutorial and made any cross stitch um not just cross stitch, but made any notebook covers, uh, please tag me on Instagram if you post them or email me a picture because I want to see. <laughs> so yay! I'm so glad somebody has used the tutorial already. Um, yeah. Thank you, Alardia. Okay, let's get into the haul of it all. Um, first thing I got on Etsy from Homestead Needleworks, I got two more of their wooden boards for finishing. Sorry for the crinkle, they're still in the plastic. Oh, let me take them out. <laughs> they just look so cute all wrapped up. <laughs> but I don't want to take them out, but it's too hard to see. So the first board I got is I think one of their medium boards. Um, in this kind of distressed, creamy white. And my goal um, of getting these was to have one of these work for my hip hop chock full bunnies, the little Easter bunnies. I want to finish that one similarly to how I finished my little Santas. That was on, I finished that one on a red board or a black board? I don't even remember now. I put it away like two weeks ago and it's out of my mind. <laughs> so I also got this one, which is a taller board and more white. And then this one, which is a more creamy distressed and a little bit shorter. Um, so I'm not sure which one I'll end up using. Um, I'm sure both will get used for something at some point, but these are the two board options that I bought from Homestead Needleworks and I'll link them down below. They have all kinds of nice little finishing items. Okay, then I had an order from Fat Quarter Shop and I got a couple pieces of fabric that I've already put away, so I won't dig out. 
they weren't for anything specific. I just, oh wait, actually, hold on. Okay, <laughs> these are not for anything specific, but like, just look how freaking cute these are. <laughs> They're Star Wars, like rainbow retro fabrics. Um, <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do with these, but look how cute they are. I saw these on the like, new like just in page on fat quarter shop and uh i don't even know what's the selvage say camelot fabrics um and they're just so retro rainbow cute i don't know what i'm gonna do with them i was like rob do you need new couch pillows for your office <laughs> i don't know um also fun fact about me i was not a star wars fan until last christmas <laughs> as a 36 year old woman um and the reason is because I grew up with sisters and we didn't watch Star Wars I don't know we just like that wasn't like anything on our radar right so I just never I never watched it as a kid as an adult my college boyfriend um was really into the like prequels one two and three episodes one two and three and so I think so I had seen episode three with him like when it came out because you know, it was his thing. Um, but I don't know, I wasn't a fan. <laughs> and so basically, last Christmas, we were um, back when we could visit people, we were at Rob's uh, cousin's house, um, south of here in Kyle. And uh, she has uh, four kids. And um, her brother, who's Rob's cousin also, anyway, there was a bunch of us sitting around the house. And we wanted to put on a movie. And they put on episode seven, the first modern or new trilogy version. So like the Ray, I'm such, a, I don't know. I say I'm a fan now and I don't know anything. So anyways, we watched episode seven and I loved it. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is so great. I was like, can we watch? And like nine had just come out last year. And so we got home that evening and I was like, can we watch eight? I was like, yes, of course, because he loves Star Wars. <laughs> So we watched seven, eight, nine, and then we watched four, five, six, <laughs> and then we watched one, two, three. Uh, one, two, three were not my jam, uh, but whatever. I loved the other six episodes. Um, <laughs> why am I even talking about that? Right. That's why I like Star Wars, and I loved these rainbow Star Wars prints. I don't know what I'm going to do with these. <laughs> Something. <laughs> I just needed to have them. So I have, so I have them. <laughs> um, so also from that quarter shop, I got Christmas cookies. So cute. And then I got Prairie Schooler the night before Christmas. Uh, if you watch Lindy Stitches, which I am sure you all do, um, she is fabulous. She showed this in her video right before Christmas and she said this was going to be her Christmas Eve start and I think I saw that video on like the 21st of December and I was like "Ooh, I'm gonna join you but I looked up where I could get the chart because I couldn't get it anywhere like within driving distance of me uh well driving distance that I had time to go get because I don't have a local needle workshop in the like 30 minute driving distance of me um so I found out that quarter shop with all the threads, but I knew I couldn't get it by Christmas Eve. So I was like, oh, dang it. Well, I'll start that eventually. So I did order it and I got the DMC to go with it. And I just love it. I think it's so cute. So another to add to my Prairie Schooler collection. And since I have the floss, it'll go in the kit crate, bin of kits. <laughs> okay, and then I had an order from 123Stitch and this first chart is entirely the fault of Oh shoot, I should have looked up your name. I'm almost, I think it's Amy, the Contented Stitcher, whose channel is also great. Amy? Oh gosh, I'm gonna kick myself if I've got the wrong first name. I'm sorry, but you showed A Red Cottage by Plum Street Samplers, and I was like, pause, bye. <laughs> um, out of the 
eight or nine colors that this pattern takes. One, two, three stitch. I had two of them. <laughs> so <laughs> I got that. I have no idea when I'm going to start this. I just saw that little red house and I was like, yes, I'd like to stitch that. Um, and then I got, whew, I just for fun, sometimes I just go search Instagram tags and look at samplers and I'm like, mm, bye, bye. Uh, so this is, this is a needlework press chart and it's called Sarah Barker 1840. And I don't know that the picture looks like, I mean, it's very cute, but the girl who I, oh, I'm gonna, maybe I'll see if I can insert a photo or I'll link her Instagram um, where I saw this. This border is incredible, incredible. And I was like, yeah, I would like to stitch that. This does call for dinky dye silk. It does have an over dyed and DMC um, conversion, but the model is stitched in the dinky dyes. So I bought the dinky dyes. <laughs> They're all so pretty. Sorry for the glare. Um, I don't know when I'm gonna start this. It's big too, it's like 200 something. Yeah, 224 by 231. Uh, it's all border. <laughs> Look at that little sampler in the middle. So cute. Okay, and then I went a little Quaker crazy and I got some Quaker patterns. <laughs> some, well, I guess, are they all Quaker? Yeah, they are. Okay. Uh, I got the Quaker Berry from Erica Michaels. You know, I love a strawberry and I love this little Quaker Berry. I feel like this would be really good for that cranberry thread. Ooh. Maybe I'll do this one on 40 and uh, and use that Swa uh, 103. So Quaker Berry. This one is from 2009. Carolina House Designs Graceful Swan. I love a swan and I don't know why. I just love this. <laughs> so little. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I loved it. I bought it. And then the last chart I got, let's see if this has a date on it. 2013. This is Ellen Chester uh, with my needle, mini Quaker samplings. So there's two charts in there. And both of these are just gorgeous. I think I like this top one a little bit better, but they're both really cool. And I bought that um, Gloriana blue. I can't remember the color blue. And I was kind of thinking it might be really pretty for this chart. I don't know when I'm going to do it, but I bought it. <laughs> Goodness. I think we've reached the end of my table of stuff. Yeah, I think that's all I got for you today. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll be back next week with who knows what. We'll see. Bye.